solution from here. So from here, we have the square root of 100 raised to power 2 plus 81 raised to power 2, then plus 19 raised to power 4 over 2. We can express 100 to power 2 as 10 to power, this is 10 to power 2 raised to power 2, then plus 81 can be expressed as 9 raised to power 2 raised to power 2, then plus 19 raised to power 4. All this divided by 2. Now, this is the same thing as square root of 10 raised to power 2 times 2. This is 4. Then plus 9 raised to power 2 times 2. This is again 4. Then plus, we can express 19 as 10 plus 9 raised to power 4. All this divided by 2. The next step from here is that we can say we can express 10 and 9 in form of letters. So let x be equal to 10 and let y be equal to 9. Substituting this, this implies that we have the square root of this is x to power 4 plus y to power 4 then plus x plus y raised to power 4, all this divided by 2. So the next step here, we have the square root of x to power 4 plus y to power 4, then plus, now here, x plus y raised to power 4, we can apply the binomial expansion to expand this. So given that x plus y raised to power n, we can expand this by using the binomial expansion. That is, if we have x plus y raised to power 1, this we can indicate here, 1. If it's raised to power 2, we can have 1. Then 1 plus 1, this is 2. Then 1. If it's raised to power 3, we can have 1, 1 plus 2, this is 3, 2 plus 1, this is 3, then 1. If we have x plus y raised to power 4, which we have here, then we'll have 1, 1 plus 3, 4, 3 plus 3, 6, 3 plus 1, 4, then 1. So these are the coefficients that we have. So that now here, we have x to power 4 plus we have 4 x to power 3 y then plus this is 6 x to power 2 y to power 2 then plus 4 x then y to power 3 then plus y to power 4 all this divided by 2 all this divided by 2. The next step from here, we have the square root of, this is x to power 4 plus x to power 4. So we have 2 x to power 4, then plus y to power 4 plus y to power 4. This is 2 y to power 4, then plus, we have 6 x squared y squared then plus 4x to power 3, y, then plus 4x, y to power 3. All this divided by 2. The next step is to factor out here. We can factor out 2. 2 is common here. So we can factor out 2 so that we have 2 into the parentheses. This is x to power 4 plus y to power 4, plus we have 6, so this becomes 3x squared 
y squared then plus this is 2 x to power 3 y then plus this is 2 x y to power 3 close the bracket then divided by 2 so let's simplify here by 2 1 by 2 1 so that now here we have the square root of x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus 3x so this is 3x squared y squared then plus here we have 2x to the power 3 y then plus 2x y to the power 3 So here again we have the square root of x, this is x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4. We can express 3x squared y squared as 2x squared y squared then plus x squared y squared. Now if you check here, we can factor out 2xy. We can factor out 2xy so that we have 2xy into the parentheses x squared plus y squared. Now here we have the square root of x to power 4 plus y to power 4 plus 2x squared y squared plus x squared y squared plus 2xy into the parentheses x squared plus y squared, which we can express as the square root of now this is x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 plus here we have x squared y squared. We can express this as x y squared then plus we have x to the power 4 plus y to the power 4 then plus x squared y squared which you can express as x y squared then plus 2x squared y squared then plus 2xy into the parentheses x squared plus y squared. Now, the next step from here, we can express x to the power 4 as x to the power 2. Then plus y to the power 4 can be expressed as y to the power 2. Then we square this. Then plus x y we have x y squared then plus 2 x y into the parentheses from here that is x squared plus y squared the next step we can say let's x squared plus y squared be express as k and let x y be express as m so let's substitute this from here so this implies that we have the square root of this is k squared plus now x y is m so plus m squared then plus we have 2xy which is 2km and you find that k squared plus m squared plus 2km this is in the form of a squared plus b squared plus 2ab which we can express as a plus b squared Let's apply this algebraic identity. So here we have the square root of k plus m squared. Let's simplify here so that we eliminate the square root sign. So this implies that we have k plus m. We have k plus m. But if we recall here, k is equal to x squared plus y squared and m is equal to xy.
So this implies here we have x squared plus y squared plus xy. But again, if you recall, if you recall, we end that x is equal to 10 and we have that y is equal to 9. Let's substitute this. So here we have 10 squared plus 9 squared. Substituting the value of x and y, which is 10. So we have 10 squared plus 9 squared, then plus 10 times 9. So 10 squared, this is 100, plus 9 squared, this is 81, then plus 10 times 9, this is equal to 90. So this implies that 100 plus 81, this is 181, then plus 90. So that now this is 1. 9 plus 8, this is 17, so 7 carry 1. So we have the solution here as 271. This is the solution to this square root problem. So can you refer the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.